I guess today I can introduce him as Professor Aluminium. <laughs> and so can I welcome Professor Chris Exley to present his inaugural lex lecture. You can call me out. Thank you very much. <clears throat> of course, but it needs something similar. What is it? <laughs> we need, you need to make the sign in the sky. A bit like Batman, but you know, we thought of it first. The sign of a silicon rich mineral water in the sky. And out will appear aluminium man. And who knows the solution to living successfully and effectively in the aluminium age. So my wife who's in the audience will remember two consecutive Sundays seven or eight years ago, could be longer, when I got up on a Sunday morning, or sorry, not I, a healthy volunteer, got up on a Sunday morning not having any breakfast and drank at about 9.30 a litre and a half of a silicon rich mineral water and then collected his urine of the following rest of the day and then did that on the next Sunday as well. And what did we find? We found that immediately after drinking my silicon rich mineral water this healthy volunteer produced a spike of aluminium in their urine which suggested to us that drinking a silicon rich mineral water made you pee aluminium. Where the hell is that coming from? It's coming from you. The, sil the relationship between silicon and aluminium I've already mentioned. The Earth's crust is made of aluminium, silicon and oxygen. My PhD was all about silicon protecting against the toxicity of aluminium. Silicon is the natural antagonist to aluminium. Drink a silicon rich mineral water, you pee aluminium like it or not. So, opportunity to extend a previous study. Back in 2006, following the work that my wife and I started, looking at silicon excretion in a healthy volunteer, we worked with Peter Crome in those days on looking at whether or not if we gave people with Alzheimer's disease, we could get them to excrete aluminium following drinking a silicon-rich mineral water. And in 2006, we published a paper which shows, yes, it is possible. So we were then able to follow that up with a much more longer term study with people with Alzheimer's disease and also using their carers or spouses as an age match control group. The alarming result, well, we were able to show that the body burden of aluminium in people with Alzheimer's disease fell during a relatively short period. So they had to drink one litre of mineral water every day during this period. Believe you me, getting just ethical approval for someone for Alzheimer's disease to drink a mineral water you can buy in the shops is in itself a task. But then, you know, the other aspects of it, the logistics of it, so we needed 10,000 litres of mineral water. It actually came from a Malaysian company called Spritzer, who don't sell their water in Europe, but were willing to give us the water. So we had to bring it over in a ship and we had to use a room in the Leonard Jones to fill with mineral water. It's logistically a much tougher problem than it looks, but the results are starting to show some very interesting insight. Not only, as I said, are we able to reduce the body burden of aluminium in people with Alzheimer's disease by just asking them to drink a silicon-rich mineral water. You don't do anything else different. You live your normal life. But, and quite incredibly, we were also measuring cognitive performance. And in three of the individuals, over such a short period of time, they actually showed clinically relevant improvements in cognitive performance over that time. Listen, it means nothing at this point. It doesn't mean aluminium causes Alzheimer's, it doesn't mean it contributes towards it, but it's an indicator of what potentially is possible if we were able to extend this type of study beyond a relatively short period of time. And that's what we need to do next. We need to get perhaps targeted groups of people, perhaps people predisposed as opposed to people having Alzheimer's to take silicon rich mineral waters over long periods of time. Let's test the aluminium hypothesis of Alzheimer's. Is it really involved or not? 
So, 